Hey, Eric here with Ticket Spice, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you two really neat features for those who are doing maybe weekly or daily events, and also time slots for your events. And these two settings will allow you to have total control of two things. First, how far out into the future they can buy a ticket, and then second, how soon uh, to the start time of your event they can buy a ticket. So those two settings, how far in the future, and then how close to the start time. So to illustrate that, let's take a look at this ticketing page. We have our shoot farms here, and we can see here that I can reserve tickets all the way to the end of the year. Now you might want to constrain the window to maybe the next two or three weeks, You know, call it 14 or 21 days. But you know you're gonna be hosting your event all throughout the year, but you wanna constrain the reservations maybe to the next month. You can now do that. You also can constrain how soon before the start time of your event someone can buy a ticket. So right now it's in the evening, it's about 8.15 at night. And so right now, Ticket Spice allows me to buy the current time slot, but I might want to back that out. I might want it to be, you can't buy the time slot uh, within two hours of the start time. So we have those two settings that you can control, and I'll show you those here. So going back to the page builder, we're gonna go and edit the ticket block. And we see my different time slots here. And I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna open up the advanced panel. And the first thing we'll see here is a sales window. So I might want the sales window to be two weeks or 14 days. So when I hit save and publish, what this is gonna do is this is going to constrain that calendar picker. See, I can't go any further. It's only these next two weeks. Pretty handy, right? So you can constrain how far into the future someone can buy tickets for your event. Let's talk about the time slot now. This will work if you don't have time slots as well, but we can limit how near the start time someone can buy a ticket. So let's go back to the same settings here and we go to the sales cutoff time. And you see we have a few options here, hours and minutes. And so I can choose maybe, I'm gonna limit two hours before the start time is the cutoff. So you have to reserve a ticket two hours or more before the start time. So we'll hit done and again, Right now it's about 8 p.m., 8.20 p.m., so this will restrict me now. If I do tonight, I can now only do the 11 p.m. Before it had eight and nine, so that's how you can back off the selectable time. So pretty cool there. Uh, and if I go forward in the future, again, it shows me all the time slots there. So that's how that works. Tomorrow I can choose any time, but if I choose Today, right now, I see my last time slot there. So those two settings work in conjunction. You can use either or, you can do both, it doesn't matter to us. So again, limiting how far out in the future someone can buy a ticket, and then also limiting how close to the start time. Those two features new in Ticket Spice for you to use, so that's how they work. So there you have it, hopefully that helps. It's live in your Ticket Spice account right now. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and we'll catch you on the next one.